Yeah, hi Urvi. Hi, hi ma'am. Many congratulations on your wonderful placements with National Instruments and I think it is a great achievement. I'm sure you are really, really feeling proud of yourself to get into this assignment with National Instrument. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much ma'am. So, I think uh, the designation what you're getting is of a system engineer and you'll be working majorly on mixed signal processing is what I understood from the placement team. And uh, the interview was more on analog and digital. Yes, and along with the coding. Along with the codings. Yes. So, like overall, I think what you studied in your engineering and what you have learned at Crane's Vast City over here has helped you for this particular thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, Ruby, when did you join this program at Crane's? I think you joined postgraduate diploma in VLSI system design. Right? Yes, yes, I joined. I joined on 23rd May. Okay, so you're still not due with your placements. No, no, not yet. Your placements usually starts after the third month, so somewhere in October you... Yes, yes. Okay, so this is much before you started off with your placements. Yeah, right? yeah. Within a five, because we usually have, a, ours is a five-month program and we start our placements in the third month, so much before. Okay. Yes. So uh, how did this whole thing happen? I mean, uh, uh, because usually we start placements in the third month and then this is much before the third month. So how did this this happen exactly actually from the first day i met placement team okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so when i was sitting in the reception side waiting for my means i uh, should know my classroom also so waiting for knowing my classroom number so i was sitting so at that time i met sayed sir so he asked me like uh, where are you from and what course you are taking so at that time i met him so then after that, I like uh, used to go ask uh, Pavitra ma'am and Nisha ma'am are also there in placement team. So in the break time, I used to ask if any opportunity is there for me. So I used to go and ask them and I used to even ask that what are the actual requirements. So like I can focus on that things also. So I used to go and ask them. So that's why then when, uh, uh, national instruments, when national instruments came, they uh, told me that what, uh, do you want to apply? So I said, sir, yeah, why should I? I think you I just started time. off the VLSI modules. Yes, yes. I think you started. finished by that time the programming modules, CE, data structures, and yeah, then very I think long. very long you completed. Yes. So you had just started. Okay. Yeah. So you took this challenge. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I took it. Okay, okay. So, so I think what helped you was to understand what was happening. You were constantly in touch with the placement team. Yes, yes, I was right? constantly. So, uh, when you got into this, um, when you um, said yes for this, so what homework did you do? I mean, you knew that you are not completely into the placements. You have not completed majority because our placement starts after seventy five percent of our modules. So you have not completed that much. So what did you do exactly to appear for national instruments then? So I knew that first round is of coding round, right? And uh, uh, like there were four questions, two for from like coding and two questions were from electronic side. That were quite easy like designing like they gave us uh, one boolean expression we have to convert it to circuit and all those things were there that was quite easy uh, the main challenge was from coding and i practiced my coding by hacker and code shift geeks for geeks there means it is very important because the question they asked the, the question they gave in our exam technical exam so it was like similar kind of like uh, in if you practice those questions from this website so it will be like uh, test cases and all those things. If you just simply write the code and compile it, that is different thing. Right. And what is actual requirement, how much memory should be allocated for what thing, that is given in the test cases. So like in those websites, it is like that. And even like many of the teachers only introduced from here only Kanchana ma'am, Sikandar sir and Teja sir, they only told me you practice on this website. So from that only I started. Right. So that's what you got a guidance yeah, from yeah. here to be, uh, uh, to practice on hacker and yes, on a regular yes, basis. Yes. Great. So they told me practice and uh, even uh, for us also there were like every day they used to assign one assignment from that part only, that websites only for us uh, for assignment purpose. So that also helped me to understand actually the question type, how will I solve that test cases? So I have to understand that also. So from that I got that help. How is your learning at Cranes different than what you have learned in your engineering? It is different because it is more on practical basis. So in the uh, college time, we had like uh, uh, we also had C, C only C we had because I belong to electronics and communication background. Okay, so only C we had. So for that, it was like four hours of uh, four lectures were there in week. For in that three hours were theoretical and one hour only we used to get the lab part. 
but the programming languages like we have to do it hands on here uh, whatever they explain us we have to type uh, like code along with them just after explanation of theoretical part they will make us writing yeah hands on purpose so it is like that is that and also helping uh, learning multiple languages how do you think that has helped you like you have learned c Yeah. You have learned data structures because if it is only VLSI, you will max learn Verilog and VHDL. Yeah. But you have learned other programming languages. So how did that help you? Yeah, it helped because the requirement in the job description they require C, C plus plus, Verilog, and Python also. So Python I learned by myself little bit because it was not there in my course also. So I learned it because it was there in job description. So basic things I prepared that I can like tell them that I know this also. so that also i prepared and it is important nowadays because everything in future like this system verilog and verilog most of the companies are switching towards python for it and my few friends and my few relatives are there already there in this field so their companies like intel and all those they are moving towards python means uh, this uh, this things are also very log system very log are important but along with that they are moving towards the languages and uh, very log and system very log is like we have to design some uh, system for that or some tip we are using it but uh, the verification part is also sometime done in c and c++ so we should know that yeah so what would you suggest to your batchmates now who are now waiting to get into the placements from october what would you suggest to them I and mean, what's your guidance to them i would like to suggest them totally focus on everything because even they ask me the question from electronics from my engineering back engineering also because the interviewer who he was also from the same background he also did his like ec engineering and after that he also did like this finishing school course uh, from some institute in vlsi also so all the things were same so he knew that what things i should know so he asked me on like that Very way yeah, yeah yeah because he was able to connect with you you did yes. your engineering then you yes. took the help of a finishing school yes, yes, to get yes. to the core industry and industry. same thing he did yeah. and that's why he knew that what should i know okay so he asked me like that because one interview was from principal software engineer he was from computer science so he was not means uh, he was like uh, totally focusing on coding question and little bit of digital and analog electronics he asked me like basic questions from analog and digital and electronics and half of the interview was from coding because he was from different side so he, he was not able to like that much uh, what he can ask me but uh, the main interviewer who will be my manager he asked me all the questions like related to my field out of the field aptitude technical patients also he checked even after lunch he asked me uh, just uh, we will wind up you just conclude all the things whatever we did you uh, just explain me within 15 minutes he explained this to us in the view in 15 minutes i also wanted to know like uh, now you have done the crane course after your engineering right but we also know the corporates keep looking at this advanced skills from an engineering graduate as soon as they pass out of engineering so what would you suggest to a student who is in the final year would you suggest them to do something during their final year or do you suggest them to complete their engineering and then take up this finishing school programs like vlsi or embedded or uh, you know uh, iot or anything of these uh, you know data science kind of programs okay so if they start during their uh, like engineering like final year Eighth semester. If they start doing this from their eighth semester, along with the study, if they can manage, so it will be good. Because if like they can't manage, then it will be difficult. That person will be stuck in both the things. But if the person is good in time management, they should do it during their engineering eighth semester. Is the perfect timing. Because in in seventh semester, most of our technical subjects are over. In eighth semester, only two or three subjects are there. generally yeah. so for that uh, and uh, like if they do it parallelly then they will get placed uh, after means just after uh, completing their yes. exams yes. and uh, yeah. yeah so it will be like together but if like uh, if they want to do it after engineering that also means i did it after engineering yes. uh, and i would prefer to do it offline yeah. 
I would prefer. Really I, I would like prefer uh, to do offline yeah mode. yeah offline mode is much preferable because you get connections and you talk with people. You I means one of the things I also got it like I came offline. I came from Gujarat to Bangalore. I met new people. I knew how to communicate with them. I learned that and that was the process because the accent is also different from like place to uh, place. We have to understand. We can't ask every time what what to our interviewer. we have to learn to understand that thing also so come out from the comfort zone you can do it by means you are during your eighth semester and you can do it like and after the and one more value add would be you can do your projects because yeah. that's what university cranes yeah yeah we can do our, do our projects so your final year projects can also can be, also be a yes. program and yes. which you can again connect that to your final year project yes yes that also right. can be connected so, so so you would suggest them if they are able to cope up if they are able to manage their time well yes Finally, it would be the right time. Right time, to do yeah. This kind of so this like uh, this four month, like I have, uh, I got job after three months. They would get job just after completing their yes, engineering. Yes, yes, yes. So that will be the advantage, and time is like very important. We should understand the importance yes. of time. And yet, and because you're competing with so many people who are passing yes, out, so you know like it is. Lots of people are there. You have to always have yourself mm. where you can be identified in the crowd. So yes. manage those skills before. Yeah. You are out of the college. That's yeah. very important. Have those right skills with the college you're yes. looking at before you're out. Of the so I, I, I think some you're super excited because you know uh, where you come from. You come from Gujarat. Yes, yes, I come from Gujarat. And which college? Government Engineering College, Patan. Patan. Okay, yeah. so that's where you are from. Yeah. Okay, so I mean coming to Bangalore and then getting into this finishing school yeah. and now with the salary package of twelve point five lakhs, yes. I think yes, it's, it's a super yes. achievement. Yeah. Or we, it's really a good achievement, and we are proud to have you as one of our student as Ukrainian. And I'm sure you will make your college, your uh, organization, cranes. Whenever you go to the industry, you'll make us feel proud yeah, about yeah, your achievements and I think the task which you'll be doing there. Yes, right? yes. So, yes. Um, uh, again, once again, many congratulations, Sylvie. Many, many congratulations Thank to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.